Hey everyone, welcome to Close Call Sports for another rules analysis. Be sure to subscribe. Here we go. This is a different kind of time play in LA as the plate umpire is going to call time during play. Runners on first and second, ground ball play at second base crash, and the fielder is hurt. The plate umpire calls time as the runner from second is now rounding third and coming home. Is he allowed to do that? And the answer to that is in Rule 512B3 that states that an umpire in chief shall call time when an accident incapacitates a player or an umpire. Now, there is another part of that rule that states that except in the cases stated in paragraphs 2 and 3a of this rule, no umpire shall call time while a play is in progress. So 3a has to do with an accident to a runner who's attempting to proceed to a base in which he is entitled to, i.e. during a home run, a uh, ground rule double type situation, a dead ball anyway. But while a play is in progress, and it's not a runner, it's a fielder, umpire generally should not be calling time. The cartoon King of the Hill, of which Mike Judge, its creator, must be a baseball fan, demonstrated this principle not once, but twice. Watch this. Mr. Strickland, sir, throw the dang ball. So the catcher has a heart attack, and the runner takes off for third. <laughs> so it's a little balance of common sense and fair play. Rule 512 says we can't call time while play is in progress except if the exemption of a runner being incapacitated by accident or otherwise disables the runner from proceeding. Then we can call time during play. Otherwise, we got to keep it alive until the play comes to its natural conclusion. That's the rule. And the Zephyrs bunt to third base. What happened? They bunted again. Good Lord, that's a live ball. No one's ever bunted before. It looks like the Zephyrs are taking advantage of the Aces' confusion, and they score! Back in L.A., Boone is wondering why Morales called time, and this, this is why it happened. We have a hard slide at second base. Morales says, I'm going to have to call time for these guys because he's hurt. He sees the runner out of the corner of his eye at third, go back to 30, and he thinks the play's over. So he says, I'm going to call time. Then he realizes the runner's coming home, and i got to sell this time call. I, I meant to call time while you were still at third base. This is sort of like hockey's intent to blow rule. Baseball doesn't have an intent to call time rule. But that's what this is, effectively. Morales saw the runner at third base hanging out there and not coming home, and he thought the play was over. Then, as the runner started to come home, Morales has already made the decision to call time. So in his mind, the play's done. That's why he called time. Of course, if his reasoning was, oh, I called time because it was an injured player, even though play was in progress, then Boone would have a basis for protest. But what I feel this was was more of Morales saw the runner standing at third base not doing anything, and for that reason, and that reason alone, because he thought the play had naturally concluded, he called time. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Subscribe, and send us any rules questions, because we'll break them down for you here at Close Call Sports.